This clip, I feel like, demonstrates to me that Brendan, apart from the food, I said my rant about the food thing, right? Brendan seems to be the one of the weirdos in the world that seems to have a thing for Latina women, but doesn't seem to give a fuck about their culture. Doesn't want to learn Spanish, doesn't really care about the food, actually hates the food, actively goes out of his way not to eat the food that he's his wife cooks and his mother-in-law cooks um and just generally kind of does his own thing right really really strange but it may speak to an over you know an underlying issue of him just being the most uncurious person in the world like he just has no real curiosity outside of podcasting and what he does daily nothing um to the point where this little clip here i'm going to play for you is a really good example because he mentions how one fc wanted to fucking <laughs> fly him over to Singapore to commentate and he had absolutely no interest in going zero interest in going to Singapore probably all expenses paid and shit you know talking about the fights hanging out getting a chance to visit gyms do some content eat some great food no no interest in, in, the, in the slightest let's play the clip here where he kind of mentions that you know the offer was there and he didn't take it absolutely crazy let's play the clip now the, the thieves suck. That's why I like Turkey. Cut her hand off. But see if she steals again. It's not Turkey, but yeah, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And Turkey. I don't think so. Pretty sure. No. Bring it up. <laughs> no, bring it up. But I remember Singapore. I remember if you like spit oh, or something, Singapore. they cane you. Singapore. Something crazy like that. Yeah. I know. That's what one championship. You were dealing with drugs. You got hung. Dude, one championship was asking me to commentate in Singapore. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Be, you know, be I know it's clean, but it's like. Wait, I can't pee outside? Bubba, the best food in the world, you're going to love it. You I know, but it. if I fart on the bus, am I going to jail? Probably. No Strict rules. You don't want you chewing gum or wearing your hair long. I can't. Lee Kuan Yew. He was a benevolent dictator. He's still there? Nope, he died. As, I think his son's running the, the show. And is he the same? Like, can I, do I have to cut he my was, hair? Lee Kuan Yew goes down as one of the great figures of certainly political history in some ways. But you can't have long hair, big dick? I'm screwed, dude. Nah, he was like, no, nah, I'm screwed. These no big dick? Chewing gum dude, no hair. big dick, Brian? Yeah. And if there was a homeless guy in Singapore, they were Confucian. It was Chinese. It was Confucius. Like, the harmony, clean, orderly. I mean, it was an incredible Chin, place. can you look if you have a big dick in uh, Singapore? <laughs> I think I think Because if I'm going to jail dick. for that, lock me up. You might Am be I able right? A big dick. You might be able But, but uh, yeah. Oh, Let's just, just do it for fun. Average size. Pe oh, no. Right. Is it true that Singaporean may have short penises? Not Believe totally it. true. Written by a Singaporean dude. <laughs> the human penis length is about five inches on average. Well, I'm crushing everybody. Yeah. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm Godzilla in Singapore, daddy. Right? All right, what do you got, Jim? So somehow that conversation always, every conversation they have always results in them talking about dicks. It's just standard protocol for these guys. But it's absolutely crazy if that's true. If we believe Brendan's story to be true, that he got offered to go to fucking, you know, Singapore, courtesy of one championship, and do some fights and shit and commentate, and he didn't want to do it. <laughs> because he has no interest in going there. The flight's too long. He doesn't like the food or something. Like, this guy is so bizarre. But again, it maybe explains why he doesn't really like Mexican food and shit. That might be interesting. It might not, it might not have to do with him not being, you know, just just not being curious. And kind of liking what he likes, right? Little Caesars, um, food trucks and stuff. That's about it. But good home-cooked Mexican food? He's like, eh. <laughs> that looks like intestines. Uh, the chicken's got bones in it. <laughs> He's fucking insane. <laughs> Honestly, the guy's absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, you got to believe him first in the story. So if you don't believe him, I'm sure it's different. But I kind of do believe him.